Hey guys, just want to do a quick comparison video with all the screens and differences between all the Game Boy Advance models with the with the backlit screens. Right here you have the 001 model which has off and on brightness. It's front lit as you can see it's it's a little film in front of the screen that helps light it and you can barely see it when it's off if at all. And that one you'll find pretty common. Uh, so if you can, if you're into like actually gaming, trying to avoid this. If you're trying to um, mod, front, lit, front light mod an original Game Boy Advance or a POC, uh, I mean a Game Boy Color, find these because this is what everyone rips the screen out of to just use. It's still usable once you rip that screen out too, if you do it right, but... And then this is the 101 model. You can see it has the two different brightnesses, which is really, really good. Uh, this one is the Pokemon model, or the Pikachu one. And from... I might be wrong with this, but from what I have seen, any of the special edition SPs all have uh, the backlit screen, I think. And then I have my Game Boy Micro, which I killed. I broke it like, um, I would say two weeks ago, maybe a little longer. I cracked the screen on it. Um, I bought, um, I don't know where it went, but I bought a replacement model to just gut the screen from. Huh, I don't know where I put it. But, um, ended up getting a new faceplate because I kind of cracked the old faceplate. And then the final one I have is the DS just for more comparison. So you can just see all the different this one is honestly I think is the brightest screen out of all of them. But it could just be the game. No, it's definitely a screen. But yeah, I just want to do that video. Also, for those who are wondering, you see the blue one now is running. I did not get a battery for it. I got another one. Um friend at work gave me another Game Boy Advance SP. This one is in a bit better condition you can see. That one's all scratched. That one has very light scratching. So if anyone wants, these are still both for sale. Um, this one I'm going to include with the box, with the charger, and a battery. The battery holds a nice charge. So if anyone wants it, and it'll come with this game too. It'll come with um, the Mario Advanced. And then I have this one that has no battery, no charger. Good for parts if anyone wants to do the front light mod. It's in pretty good condition, so it would be a shame to do that. So just send me a message about one of these two Game Boys. Um, these, not for sale. Um, I still have the uh, broken blue Game Boy, I mean uh, DS, if anyone's interested in that. I'm trying to find where the broken Game Boy went. I don't know. Actually, let me pause the video and I'll restart it. Alright, here we go. I'm back. This is the one I got off eBay. The screen is dead. Now, the couches you see, I did purposely. But, you can see it's kind of... Mm, no, you can't really see it. Yeah, now you can see it. You can see that big blotch. That's from when I cracked it. Uh, this has no faceplate with it. The speaker's good. Buttons are good. The motherboard is good. The battery, I think, is dead. The case isn't the best condition. If anyone wants this one, and it's missing screws. And when um, I got it off eBay, the outside screws are stripped, but I was able to get them off pretty easily. So if anyone wants this, the battery's dead. But the the only good thing really on this is the frame and the motherboard. So if anyone's interested in that, and then I have the dead. DS and a uh, dead Game Gear. So, anyone want to send me a message on all of this? Let me know. Talk to you guys later. Bye.